welcome back to my channel pause the video go ahead and subscribe also if you like the video take the time to give me a thumbs up if you have any questions leave them down below comments leave them down below communicate with me i appreciate it um thank you for tuning in um i know you're here because of the title of the video yeah three days <laughs> three day juice cleanse so let's just dive into this information for me it wasn't so much about the weight loss um i didn't do it to lose weight um even though it's a given because anytime you cut back on what you're eating um or the amount you're eating you're gonna lose weight it's inevitable i don't care if you even do it slightly um i'm not a health specialist but i am an lpn so i know a little bit from being a nurse um and i do study Anything that you do, especially health-wise, I would say to be knowledgeable about it. Don't just jump into it. Don't just do it because somebody else did it. Don't just do it because somebody else said it's going to work. It's the best of your ability. I would say to do some research first to know how you're going to go about doing it. It's good for your health. You know, how does it work? Why does it work? You need to know those things. Um, especially when it comes down to putting your hard earned money into something. I wouldn't just do it just because it makes you a promise, you know, um, because what if it doesn't work or what if it causes you to have some serious health issues by doing it? That's important to me. So anything I do, I do a little research first just to, um, figure some stuff out. Um, I would say not to just dive into this, um, to know how you're going to go about doing it. Um, some people do it for like 10 days, 7 days. I didn't feel like I could make it that long. I didn't think I could do the 3 days. But I wanted to challenge myself. For me, this is mostly a mental thing. Um, I kind of want to gain control over my appetite. Because a lot of things that we encounter, it starts in your mind. So, it was kind of like breaking some um, mental things, you know. And I have some notes right here about it. So, if you see me looking over here, I'm looking at my laptop, looking at my notes. If you hear my children in the background, I have two busy little boys. So, you just might hear them. Please look over them. I apologize. Um, but, yeah. So, like I said, my advice is not just to jump into it. Just because it promises you to lose weight. Um... It works best for people that have already been doing some work dietary wise um, and definitely even if you aren't already on a journey I would say to look forward to being on one after you do the cleanse or what you're going to end up doing is gaining every bit of that weight back all of that bloating you're going to gain it back if you go back to doing what you were already doing but this is a great jump start you know because you have a fresh clean slate but if you allow your mind to go right back to where you were already, you're going to be doing the same thing. So, yeah, this is like a fresh start. But it's still going to be challenging, even after doing the cleanse. Um, what you're basically doing when you're doing a cleanse or a detox, you're aiding your body into doing what it already does. Your body, if it's a healthy body, your liver, your kidneys, they already cleanse and detox your body on a daily basis. So, it's like... It's no magic or anything like that. You're just really just aiding your body into doing what it already does. You're giving your um, body a rest, basically, by not putting a whole bunch of extra stuff in there so it um, doesn't have to work as hard as normal, if that makes sense. Um, about the juices, basically, I did cold-pressed juices because you want to get um, as much nutrition as possible while you're doing this cleanse. You definitely want to go for some all-natural stuff, um, as close as natural as you can get it. And so, I went with 100% cold-pressed juices. They are more expensive than regular juices um, or juices that you would get off the shelf, and the life of it is not as long. Um, so you have to drink them like within maybe three to seven days, I believe, or it may be from, um, three days from when you open them. For when I first started, I got just regular cold pressed juices, which were apple, orange, and pineapple juice. I got those from, um, Walmart and those are cold pressed. 
but they didn't have, you know, like a bunch of blends in them, didn't have any vegetables in them. They did have some choices like organic, but I wasn't too fond of the choices they had. So I waited to go to my Whole Foods the next day. Um, I would recommend to drink five juices. So it's like you're doing three meals and two snacks. Um, just so you're not just feeling super hungry, tired, and um, your body's feeling depleted. You want to try to stay as much um, nutritionally healthy as possible while you're doing this because you're already cutting back drastically on what your body is used to taking in. Uh, I would definitely say not to go under three. Some days I did only three because I just wasn't feeling just hungry like that. And you want to make sure you're drinking a lot of water as well. Um, you would know if you're not drinking a lot of water because you, um, hopefully it's not TMI, but anyway, you want your urine to be light, pale yellow, not dark yellow. So, you know, you're not hydrated if your urine is dark. Uh, I may have already stated, but the why, why did I do the cleanse? I did it because over Christmas and, uh, um, my birthday as well, I just was eating pretty bad just, and I felt myself falling back into some of my old habits the way I was eating um you know pizza every day you know pizza is good um but you can't eat pizza every day and expect to be um at your your best health or lose weight if that's the goal um just can't do it every day um also I think I was eating cookies for dinner some days like Christmas cookies the soft ones from Walmart oh that's my weakness, honey. I think I was eating that for dinner some nights, just the cookies. So, yeah, you can imagine. So, yeah, I felt kind of yucky. Um, I could see the bloating in my stomach. Like, I could literally feel the tightness and stuff. I'm like, mm-mm, we getting out of hand. So, I was getting back on track, but I thought, well, let me go ahead and try this cleanse. This may be a good time to try this, this cleanse to help me. You know get back on track and it won't be so hard um because you know when you eat a lot of sugars and things like that your body craves them it's already gonna um uh, it's, it's just something your body can crave um almost like drugs it's an addiction so yeah it would be easier for me to break that habit even though i'm a sweets eater i love pastries and cakes and cookies and things like that i just i love them I always have so yeah the cleanse would help me kind of get back on track and break that relationship a little bit. Um, how? I did three days, like I stated, and I just feel like for me, anything more than that would have been like an overkill. And I just wanted to get the job done. And I feel like three days would get the job done. And um, three days feel good at the end. I feel like I accomplished what I started doing. Um... I don't know if it's necessary to have the vegetables, but in my mind, it just seemed like that would just be a little more complete nutrition as compared to just doing the um, fruits because you already got a lot of holes in your diet doing this cleanse because you're not taking in anything but juices. So that's why I did, even though I didn't enjoy the vegetable blends, that's why I made sure I added those in. Um, day one. Day one was a little bit hard just because it was just starting out, but it wasn't hard. It's come, um, it's like not eating. It was just my mindset of like, oh, I'm not eating food today. So that's what made it hard. It was just mentally hard. Um, I wanted to eat, but I wasn't hungry. Um, by doing the juices and water, a lot of going to the bathroom, a lot of um, urinating, a whole lot of it. Um, almost non-stop like you're constantly going to the bathroom so if you're doing this you want to make sure you're always able to go to the bathroom because you're going to have to go a lot um i didn't have any headaches i wasn't sick um i didn't feel tired or anything like that <laughs> most challenging thing for me was when i went in the kitchen to get my baby a pudding cup y'all when i took the lid off it took everything in me not to lick the pudding off the lid of the pudding cup that was like the hardest thing that day. Um, and just the smells. It's like my sense of smell got so strong. I could smell anything. Like in our pantry, I could literally smell the snacks. <laughs> the 
the seasonings in there, everything, y'all. I could I could smell them. Um, day two, it was hard, but I still didn't feel hungry. Um, I just knew I hadn't had any solid food, you know, the chewing. I did chew gum to help me with that chewing sensation, just to feel like I'm chewing. <laughs> um, I think the hardest part also that day was cooking. Um, because I think I had a lot of leftovers and my children they they eat like little they eat a lot but they don't eat like the huge meals and a lot of vegetables and things like that so they ate leftovers sandwiches and hot dogs and stuff like that so the day two is when I cooked the hot meal and it was so hard it was so hard because everything smelled and looked so good but yeah that was the hardest part um I also began to be able to tell when I needed to eat. Like I could tell when my body was like low on energy or something like that. And so I would go drink a juice and drink me some water. Um, on day two, I did have a slight headache and a little nausea. But like I said, I think that was just because I my body was feeling low of energy and I knew I needed to eat. So once I drank juice, I felt better. Um, on day three... I feel like I could keep doing this. I really was like, oh, this is no big deal. I can keep going. So by three, I was like, mm, let's keep going. But no, we're not going to keep doing this. It's time to stop. <laughs> and then, um, like I was imagining stuff, meals I could eat. I was like, oh, we can eat that. We can eat this. Just imagine all kind of stuff. But I still did not eat and I made it through. Um, I did not, like a lot of people say they go poop a lot. I didn't do that a lot. It was just like normal. Sorry if that's too much. Just being a little clear. Uh, it was just normal. So I guess I didn't have a lot of build up. Sorry. As I thought I might have had. Because it was just normal. It wasn't a lot of that. Not in excess. Um, on day two, my skin did break out a little more than usual, but by day three, it was clearer and smoother. Um, but because I had been um, eating better, my skin had already been clearing up more than usual. I had already noticed that just by eating better in general, and it did kind of start breaking out a little more over the holidays with what I was eating. But by day three, the cleanse, it started clearing up, and it was a lot softer, too. Um... See if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, like I said, the juices are kind of costly, but in actuality, if you're thinking about it like a meal, especially if you're a person that eats out a lot, it's not any more than you. We paying for a meal, and one juice is literally like a meal. Um, I don't think it takes more than one juice to fill you up, and you can drink some water. So it's not like you're gonna be paying for more than you would pay for a meal a day. Um, at the Whole Foods, it was the highest. I think they were like $8, $8, $8 a piece. Um, at the um, Fresh Market, they were like $3. And then just regular cold pressed juice from Walmart, they were like two fifty dollars a bottle, I believe. So you multiply that by three to five and you'll get your total for a day. I do have some pictures of some of the juices that I use. I will post them. The ones with our fruit or my favorite or just the orange and the apple and pineapple were the best. The ones with vegetables, I'm not a fan. Um, the Mommy Boost, it was maybe the most tolerable out of all of them. Even the um, Rise and Shine, it had mostly fruit in it, but the ginger is just so overpowering and it had like this very strong, pungent, uh, bitter taste to it. It just kind of was like leaving this burning, <laughs> burning sensation after um, I would drink it. And then the green one, um, I think it was called Green Lemonade. The cucumber and kale. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm just not a fan of vegetable juice. Can't do it. So I had to mix those when I would drink those. And like I said, you can do seven days. If you that person, by all means, get it done. But I don't need three days. So you can work that out, I believe. Um, but you can also order this stuff online. There are so many kits if you want to get a, a um, 
juice cleanse kit offline they are expensive online a lot more expensive if you order them from like a um it's like a boutique type um juicers they're very expensive but um like i said if you wanted to give it a try and just do the fruit juices be my guest but i don't know if it'll make a difference doing them that way um it's very wise to reintroduce foods slowly like i recommend not starting out with something heavy like i wouldn't start out with dairy and um grains and definitely not meat and definitely no fried foods because you probably gonna hurt yourself and small portions like don't go crazy just because you haven't eaten and you feel like we're going to just eat up everything you're not gonna be able to for one um the next day when it was time to eat i was not hungry and i was going to reintroduce my foods by doing a smoothie that morning i did not want it i couldn't tolerate it um i drank maybe a fourth of it and then for a snack i had a bowl of strawberries and i didn't want to eat them like i almost had like an aversion to solid foods almost like i was scared to put it in my stomach um, but I started eating them and I was like, okay, it's good. And I slowly was eating them. And then I was like, okay, I'm ready to eat now. So by the time it was time to eat lunch, I had, uh, chili. So I ate, um, some chips and salsa and a salad. And I ordered the pasta without chicken. And I was only able to eat a couple of spoons of that. Um, but like I said, this is, this is maybe like three o'clock. And I had just been nibbling on fruit and stuff before then. And like I said, introducing myself to the salad first was um, helpful. And the pasta didn't hurt my stomach at that time. So, but just slowly do it. You don't want to eat a lot. And then the point is so you will eat smaller portions. So, yeah, that's that's good that you um, kind of stick with how your body's feeling and listen to your cues of your body at this point. Because you've given yourself a reset so you have the opportunity to make better choices at this point so smaller portions um fruits and vegetables things like that drink your water um that's pretty much it and like i said i didn't my stomach didn't hurt anything like that i'm still not really that hungry but when i'm hungry and time to eat oh i eat but sometimes this is day two since i've started been eating and it almost like if I eat one full meal, that's like all I can eat that day. I may get a snack here and there, um, but that's about it. It's like being full for the rest of the day. But um, I'm trying to get my nutrition where it's supposed to be and not just not eat because um, I don't feel hungry. You need to eat because um, you don't want to get sick or anything like that. But yeah, if you have any more questions or um, anything like that, just ask below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. But yeah, um, I started out um, the first day of the cleanse, I was 168.4. On day four, when the cleanse was done, I was 162.4. So I lost exactly six pounds. And um, my waist was... 38.5 and day four it was 36.5 um no 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 was that my waist so i lost two inches and six pounds total i uh, hope it was helpful like i said if you have any questions just let me know leave your questions or whatever down below thank you for watching